Hey Verge, this is Adriel here. I'm just about to uh, try to bust the myth that um, Windows 8 is not very usable. It's not um, really usable with a mouse and keyboard. Um, as we know, Touch is a first-class citizen, but uh, Microsoft has, has um, you know, released a statement that um, using the keyboard and mouse are still quite as com as comfortable, um, you know, as using Touch. So I'm here to prove that. Um, so here we are at the home screen, the beginning, a very good place to start, and just a touch of the home screen would uh, unlock. I went to sleep, yeah. Would unlock, so just one touch, um, and as you know, you just hit your, type in your um, login information, and you know, with Windows 8, everything syncs across, so I have all my profiles synced across. I also have uh, Windows 8 dual booted on this laptop, but the recording software is not ready to work in Windows 8 as yet. So that's why I'm in a, I'm in a virtual machine, VMware layer. So here we go, um, you're at the home screen, and I'm doing the scrolling using um, a mouse. So uh, you can see it's pretty much smooth, uh, takes you where you want to be taken. Um, then you can right click and let's see yes right click and you can s click to see all the uh, your apps okay and you can press the windows key on your keyboard to get back to the home screen so let's try um, using the mouse and keyboard within an app so um, let's see for example there's the uh, maps or maps yeah uh, yep maps right here So we're in maps um, experience. You can pan. You can zoom using the um, the scrolling button on your mouse, and then across, as usual, across on Windows 8, you can right click to bring up a menu to access these different options here, and you right click again to dismiss it. So you can see. You know who works well. Um, let's see the desktop mode. Um, you know, right clicking works as usual, as you expect it to. Uh, open folders. You know, I, I haven't synced everything across to this version of my of uh, my virtual machine, so. Oh, Windows 8 on my virtual machine, so um, that's why that's empty. But I'm actually making use of it on the other part. Uh, let's go. So, Windows key to get back into um, Metro mode. How about in the weather app? So, you see, so far, navigating on the mouse is not that much of a hassle. Um, so, you can see, uh, right click again to access, access these different options. And now, we have multiple apps open, so here I'll show you what what proves to be, I guess, the most talked about and the most um, debated aspect of Windows 8, which is navigating between apps, and multitasking. So as you can see, I have the desktop open, so I just click there, click, click, click to move between apps. Simple. Uh, even when you're in the metro mode, you can access those apps. So to click, now I can multitask. Uh, I pull in this app here, yes, place it right there, and I can um, delegate space between different apps, or just make this full screen and switch to another app. And to, re to see how many apps I have open, I can just put the same mouse here and then just bring the mouse down like that. See? Uh, and I can switch in the same manner. So just put the mouse coarser here and just hold down and you can see everything so Windows key back again so one of the things that people cry about um, with Windows 8 is the fact that they have removed the start menu button so um, here it's simple as just typing just, you just start typing and you find what a program you're searching for so maps M maps um, if it's a file specifically a file then 
just search for keywords within the file and it will pull the file up right there too, right here. Um, so tweet row, Twitter, um, Rawi, right there. So it's it's uh, you just start typing. So we hit the Windows key to get back to the home screen. And now um, what else? Let's see. What else is that? The debated point. Okay, that's semantic zoom. Boom. So multitasking with the uh, desktop and another app. again to scroll. So let's get back to the home screen. Alright, so that's pretty much, um, that, that's my argument. Um, what I do agree with um, that people have been talking about is the fact that Microsoft would have to be really, um, would have to provide some really intuitive um, tool tips, you know, that hint of what users should do to access, access different functionalities and navigate and stuff like that. I, th that's what I agree with. But once you get the hang of it, as usual, stuff, um, new stuff is strange at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's, no, it's not really difficult um, to use with a mouse and keyboard. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you, Verge. And I hope my case will be accepted across the board. All right, goodbye.